Yo, what's going on, guys? Today we're talking about Buzelas. Is it Matas? I mean, that's how we would say in Argentina. My family's from Argentina and Italy, but Buzelas. I've actually met Buzelas at the Panini when I was at All Star Weekend. He was there at Panini when I was interviewing Jermaine O'Neal, DeMarcus Cousins, Lance Stevenson. Go check those interviews out. They're in the my interview playlist. I got to interview those guys. But Buzelas was my boss didn't want me to interview him because we had interviewed him before and i've seen him play live at the g league showcase orlando showcase back in december and look i think he's overhyped i i'm not look we're gonna give him an honest review he's going to probably go in the lottery a lot of people like him because he is has a very similar skill set to franz wagner i don't see it in terms of franz had that dog in him okay i think buzel is he does not necessarily but let's get into it let me hear your thoughts down below buzelis is 19 years old or he'll be 19 during the draft night 6 10 209 with a 6 10 wingspan and through 21 games he averaged about 16 points grabbed 6.7 6.6 rebounds dished out just under two assists had a steal and almost two blocks a game i will say his defense is legit he comes from a two-parent background both of them played basketball professionally in lithuania he shot shot 46 from the field and 31 percent from three as we made this video now the appeal with him is he is a tall point wing forward who has a good looking shot He's got good movement for his size. He can switch a little bit. He has shot blocking ability. He can put the ball on the deck and he can score. I believe the, it is a lazy comparison to say that he is the Thrones Wagner 2.0. For his size and age, he ex, ex, moves extremely well, especially with the ball in his hands. He can score off the dribble already and he can get to his spots. He's got some good counters like crossovers, floaters, zero steps and he's got some creativity and patience on offense and the thing is is everyone ra and he's he's a plus athlete and he can get above the rim and finish with ease but people rave about his playmaking guess what he's a negative assist to turnover ratio and is a uh, has a true shooting below league average and like buzelis doesn't try to do too much on offense that's the difference but from Voz, Vo franz wagner tried to be like the man but he does a good job buzelis of playing off ball he and I, th I think he does a good job of slashing he knows how to attack and transition and push the ball up the court and i think he can impact the game without initiating the offense like he has like you know like i said a good ability to be off ball make the right read has the ability to slash and catch the ball and when he goes to cut at the rim and he can provide spacing as a floor spacer with a good you know playmaker next up i think the swing skills the shooting like he's got good form and nice touch he can shoot off the dribble off movement spot up pretty much everywhere he stretches the floor but he's not a knockdown guy i mean he struggled to consistently shoot it from deep he shot 65 percent from the free throw line albeit on 48 per 48 free throw attempts he went 8 of 22 from three point range during the orlando g league showcase and defensively he doesn't seem like he's going to be anything special besides that he's shown he can keep a guy in front of him, similar to like Denny Avdia, but he moves laterally well and keeps his hips open, but his athleticism helps him there and he gets blocks. Like he's not big enough to guard power forwards and centers right now, maybe in the future if he puts on some weight, but besides being a shot blocking wing, he's not going to have a defensive presence at the rim and he doesn't close out or contest shots well he relies on his athleticism too much and quicker guards are going and have blown by him in the g league and he uses his athleticism too far often to recover and when he does get blown by and he sometimes fouls if he or the shot when he tries to block them it just he doesn't even you know affect their shot with his contest and offensively he literally plays above the key even off ball he doesn't like to go inside the arc and if his shots aren't falling he does not go inside the arc and he he has a loose handle i mean he gets pickpocketed really easily and he can't create advantages and transition in the half court due to it like the lack of athleticism and he's not the longest guy so he's not going to feed things in like an you know as a elite ball handler and the other thing with him is he doesn't like to take more than three or four dribbles in traffic okay so he's not going to dribble through and get downhill into the the rack like he's not a facilitator i don't think he's a point forward he's not good enough of a ball handler or passer or creative enough to be a primary playmaker and his shot takes a long time to get off his slow release but he needs to put on weight so for me i think he's someone that you should take in the back of the lottery even if he does put it away i just think he's kind of that master of none type guy who's more of you know a second i think he's like a young nick batum i'm sorry that's what he is he is nick batum 